Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. Seasons and dreams on the line tonight in high school baseball and softball. And we start off at Oran, the Eagles baseball team hosting Gideon. Good to see the Gideon fans make that hour plus trip. And they were all smiles. Just glad to see their team making a nice run this year. And Gideon pitcher, he gets the strikeout. Landon Weaver is his name. Good pitcher, good play. But Oran started getting the bats going. Nolan Loper, this hit scores Carson Kern. And things started to roll in Oran's favor in a hurry. They were already up in the game. And later, Brendan Campbell, no cheap hit there, right? Just a smack line drive, scoring runs and putting Oran on easy street, if you will. And then they take care of business late, rolling, hiring on the mound. The punch out, Oran cruises 13 to one for this win. They get a nice one, they move on. More class one sectional baseball. Really neat to see the school spirit earlier today uh, for the Leopold Wildcats in their playoff game, the sectional at Norwood, and they put up one heck of a battle, but would fall short five to four. So Oran will play Norwood Wednesday in the quarterfinals. Class two sectionals, Portageville 3-1 over Van Buren and Chaffee Shuts out Bismarck 4-0. That sets up a showdown between those two teams in the Class 2 quarterfinals on Wednesday. It will be at Chaffee. Good one at Bush Stadium. Cardinals hosting the Baltimore Orioles. And how about Michael Ciani, known as a defensive specialist, unloads on this one. Cardinals starting to show some life. Watch out if they can win this series. They get the first one, 6-3. Uh, to three. Two teams back at it again at 645 tomorrow night. All right, a final four Monday for a trio of Heartland softball teams. First up, class two semifinals, Kennett versus Lone Jack. Kennett catcher Emma Tinnen had quite a game. Had a home run earlier, a two-run RBI double there. Well on their way to the championship, the Indians. And they get more. Hanley McAtee, who was also the, the pitcher, she gets a hit. And it's, Kennett wins 11-4. They'll play Diamond tomorrow in Springfield at 11 a.m. for the Class 2 state title. Class 1 semifinals would begin with Bernie playing Ashgrove, and this Ashgrove team is really good. Chelsea Graham singles all the way out to the fence area out there. They score run the lead 1-0, but Bernie brought some artillery of their own. Abigail Powell singles to right. She gets that one working for her. That was Macy Botch who scored. It was 2-1. Then Riley Powell, she answers with a bunt. Perfect, right? It's enough to score that run, made it 2-2. Mackenzie Meese would also single up the middle. So Bernie took the lead. All the good news I'm giving you. Because pretty much the rest of the way, it was a dominating performance from that point on from Ashgrove. And they go on and get the win. Uh, we'll put the final up there for you. 17-4. The final. Meanwhile, the second semifinal matching Concordia and Hawkham. Third inning, game tied at one. Concordia, what a catch at shortstop from Hawkham to prevent any further damage, but they couldn't really get the offense moving. Uh, Hawkham's, you know, just seven to one was the final. Concordia wins it, which would set up a Heartland third place game between Hawkham and Bernie. They would meet each other here. One would get fourth, one would get third, but that's Hawkham's Ava Gurley. She says, we'd rather have third. She drives in two runs to make it 4 nothing. Bernie kind of scores and makes this game really interesting. It looks like it might be just one of those games where Hawkham just cruises early, but the little grounder turns into two runs, and that would make it 4-2. Later, 4-3, it got really interesting as we'd head into the seventh inning, but that's when Hawkham blew this thing wide open, and I do mean wide open with 10 runs in that inning. They win 14-3 and they get third place. Bernie gets fourth. Still a, a great job making it to the final four.